Today on our 2017 Mazda 3, you're going to be taking a look at, I'm going to show you how to install the Kurt Class 1 trailer hitch receiver, part number C11377. This is what our hitch looks like when it's installed. As you can see, the cross tube is visible. However, it is a round tube design, and each end of it does have a slight bend in it, so it's going to fit nicely with the contour of the vehicle. It's going to have plate style safety chain loops, so it's got plenty of room for different size safety chain hooks. And this hitch is going to be a class one. It's going to be an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. Hitch pin hole is going to be half inch in diameter. As you can see, it's going to have a nice reinforced collar to give it a little extra stability on the receiver tube. However, this is not going to change the weight capacity. This hitch is going to have a 200 pound max tongue weight, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube, and a 2,000 pound max trailer weight, which is the trailer plus the load included. Now, I do recommend checking the owner's manual of your Mazda to make sure the vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. You want to pick the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. Now, Kurt does recommend the use of stabilization straps for any non-wheeled loads. Keep in mind, this is a Class 1 hitch, so you are required to only use Class 1 accessories. As far as the installation goes, this is a very simple installation. It's not going to be any drilling or welding required. It's going to come with all necessary hardware. I do recommend getting an extra set of hands to help lift the hitch into place. Now let's give you a few measurements to help you when deciding on any hitch mounted accessories you may need, such as a bike rack or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost part of the bumper is about 3 inches. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube is about 11 and a half inches. Now that's a good idea to get a raised shank for better ground clearance. Now let's show you how to get this installed. So we're going to take our pull wire, spring in, we're going to go through this back hole, we're going to come out of the large hole right here in the front. That. Put a little bend in your wire to keep it from coming out. You're going to take a spacer block, go ahead and slide it on and up through the hole. Carriage bolt, we're going to thread it on to our spring. You're going to pull out of the hole like that. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to do what's called a reverse pull. Take another spring or a pull wire. Put on your spacer block first, thread on your carriage bolt. We're going to push our carriage bolt up in the hole first. Then our spacer block. And just pull it back down through. Next thing we got to do, so this little tab right here on the bottom of our fascia, we're going to have to cut a little section out of it. We're going to go about like this. This is on our driver's side, passenger side. I'm go about like this. So I'm going to take some tin snips. You can use a razor knife if you want. These usually work pretty good. We'll cut these tabs out. Now the next set of hands. We're going to take our pull wires, go through the corresponding holes, we'll go over top of our exhaust. Get our hitch into place, we'll remove one of the wires, and we're going to put on a flange nut. We'll put one of the flange nuts on both sides of the hitch to hold our hitch in place while we install the remaining hardware. Now we can put on our remaining hardware. Next, with a 19 millimeter socket, we're going to tighten all of our hardware. Next, we'll torque all the hardware to the specifications and the instructions. And that'll do it for a look at an installation on the Kurt Class 1 trailer hitch receiver, part number C11377 on our 2017 Mazda 3.